Hello, I'm Wiz, and I'll be teaching you how to use version control to merge contents of a plugin file to a master file. Version control is an absolutely essential aspect when it comes to working in a team with a creation kit, because it allows multiple people to work simultaneously on a single project. In this tutorial, I will assume you know your way around the creation kit, so if you are confused at any point in the tutorial, I recommend checking out creationkit.com for more documentation and tutorials. All right, so let's start. The first thing you'll need is a master file. There are various ways on how to create a master file, uh, but I think it's best if I would just provide a master file myself. So in the description of this video, you'll find a download link for an empty master file that you can use if you want. Okay, so the first thing that you'll need to do is that you need to go to your Skyrim uh, directory. I have a shortcut for it right there. And you, need to, and you need to open up uh, skyrimeditor.ini. Now at the top you use, uh, you change the be use version control to one, and then you type in some, uh, and then you need to type in some stuff, some directories. All right, so you type in s network path double slash, and then your computer name. Now. A quick way to find out what your computer name is, is that you can hold on Windows R and type in CMD into the run window and you'll get this command prompt. Now type in who am I with no spaces and the first name that pops up is your computer name. So mine's Wee's PC. So, so right, it's Wee's PC merging. Now make sure that you have a slash at the end that's that's extremely important okay so now you type in s new version backup path equals double slash my computer name uh, merging uh, version backup and then you type in s network master path equals double slash or double slash your computer name merging data. Oh, there! I forgot the fucking slashes. Okay. Remember, this is very important that that they that they are uh, that it looks like that, All right? So now you save it, and now you go back to your Skyrim directory, and open up Skyrim Editor Prefs. ini, and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you add a section at the bottom. Uh, in brackets, which will be called who can merge, and you type in your other computer name. Other computer name is probably not the correct technical term, but you can find out what this name is um, by going again to the who am I thing, and the second name that will pop up is the name that you're supposed to put right there. Okay, so now that's done, you save that, and uh. Yeah, so now we need to create these uh, directories. So go to your Skyrim, di uh, Skyrim directory and create a folder called merging. In there you create a folder called data. And then another folder called version backup. Now go to your Skyrim data folder, where all the plugins and all that stuff is. Uh, and you create another folder called check in backup. Okay, so so now here's a slightly tricky bit. Uh, we need to share these folders on your network in order for a version control to work. So the way you do this, um, I've had some troubles with this, so I recommend that you that you follow closely. Um, so you go to your Skyrim directory and you right-click the merging folder that you made and go to Properties and go to the Sharing tab. Now you go to Advanced Sharing and tick the share this folder, hit OK, and then click on share dot dot dot. It says like share dot dot dot. Make sure they don't confuse it with anything else. Uh, and you make sure that the list of people looks like this. I'm pretty sure you only need to have your computer name there, but to make sure, you know, you can use this drop down menu to make it look like that. Okay, so now you share it, your folder is shared, done, close. Now, it was important that you did the advanced sharing 
before sharing it with like the people. Okay. I've tried it I tried it the other way around and it completely fucked up. So go back go to your uh, data folder and do the same thing to the check in backup folder. So right click properties sharing advanced sharing share this folder okay share uh, share done close okay so all right so um so here's another tricky bit uh it's this is quite complicated so it's okay if you don't understand it uh but i'll try and explain briefly uh by default you cannot merge forms that belong to the skyrim master file with some other master file so essentially meaning sometimes the creation kit will refuse to merge certain edits that you do to fix this um you need to temporarily turn off uh, a thing that's called use uh use localized strings flag inside the skyrim master file um, so in order to do this you need to download a hex editor uh so i provided a a download to the hex editor in the uh, the description of this video Okay, so now that you have it downloaded, uh, you open it up, and before you, oh uh, shit, I almost forgot this, before you uh, do anything with the hex editor, go to your data folder, and back up skyrim.esm. I have it backed up right there, just just make sure that it's, um, yeah, it's backed up in a folder somewhere so that you can paste it back. Okay, so with your hex editor that you just downloaded, you open up the Skyrim master file, the one in the data folder, not the backed up one or anything like that. You open it up, and you find the ninth byte. The ninth byte should say 81. You change that to 01, and you save it. Okay, so what I what I like to do, uh, this is now a hex edited Skyrim master file. What I like to do is that I like to back it up. So I keep it in folders like this, 01 and 81, so that I can quickly switch between them. Uh, for your information, Skyrim cannot run using the hex edited master file. Uh, when you want to play, you'll need to switch back to the normal, uh, to the normal one. And yeah, that's why I like to have uh, two different folders for this, so that I can just sort of copy and paste. Okay, so what you, what you now need to do is that you need to copy some files. You select the Skyrim master file, the hex edited one, and you select your master file, uh, your master.esm, the one that you downloaded in the beginning of the tutorial. You copy that, make sure that the master file that it downloaded is in the data folder. Now you go back to your Skyrim directory and go to the merging folder and data and paste it in there. Okay, so let me. I'm just gonna check that I'm not missing anything. No, no. Okay. Open. Uh, so now what you do is you open up the creation kit. You'll see some unusual errors. This is normal. Okay. So just select your master, and that should open up the ma uh, the Skyrim master file automatically. Like I said, some unusual errors, ignore that. Okay, so now that it's done loading, um, what we need to do is that we need to generate some files that are necessary for version control to work. So what you do is that you click on this folder here to open up the data window, and you select the Skyrim master file and go to details. Click yes to the window that pops up, and uh, yeah, this is kind of weird. You hold down Control Shift B, and do you wish to continue? Hit yes. Wait a few seconds. All right, and you do the same thing with this thing with, with a your master. So details, yes. Control Shift B, yes. Wait a few seconds. Close. All right, so if you go to your merging and go to the data folder, you'll see that there's now three different files associated with the master files. This means that you just, you know, did it correctly, so. Um, all right, 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 right. Oh, and by the way, 
when you open up the Skyrim master file while using or while having version control enabled and it tells you that the network version of Skyrim.esm is different from the local version then that means that the Skyrim master file in your Skyrim data folder your normal data folder is a is not a hex edited version so if you want to use the creation kit to perform a merge then you press uh, yes otherwise I, rec I recommend just keeping a normal version in your Skyrim directory to avoid any hassle when trying to play the game later on or anything like that okay so now that you're so now that we're done generating those files uh, we just we just close the creation kit Oops, and you open up the creation kit again. This is actually essential, uh, or else the creation kit will crash. So yeah, let's select yourmaster.esm. Okay, so now that it's done loading, um, let's see if we can do, if we can, you know, merge some changes. So. I'm just going to go into unowned cell and I'm just going to place like two barrels here and uh, you know so yeah just two barrels just for testing purposes I'm going to save this save as version version control I'll save it as that okay so now go up to your upper left corner and there's this new button this is the version control tool. This is essentially the window that you open up in order to merge changes into the master file. So what you do is that you click select all, you hit check out, select all again, check in, leave this as blank, and you select your master, save it, and where it says, do you wish to select blah 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 blah, you just hit no. Now a little loading bar will pop up, and that's just normal. So I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to enable uh, your master. Oh, wait, hold on. What you need to do is that you need to go to uh, your Skyrim directory, go to merging, go to data, copy your master, and go back into the Skyrim data folder and replace it with the old one. As you can see, it's, it's a lot bigger because what you just did is that you just merged the contents of this plugin file with the with the master file that's on uh, the, mer the, the the master file in the merging uh, the, the version control uh, master file that, which means it was not in your data folder which means you have to copy it from the merging data into your Skyrim data folder so let's just make sure that it's ticked hit run and let's see if our barrels are in game so keep in mind the version control.esp, the plugin file that we saved those two barrels barrels into. Um, that's not enabled as uh, right now. So if we go to coc unowned cell. Oh right, like I said in the beginning of the tutorial, uh, having having a hex edited Skyrim master file will make your game crash. So replace it with the one that you backed up. And there they are, two barrels. They, the in, the forms that tell the engine to load these barrels are inside a master file, and they're used to be inside of a plugin file, and you merge them into a master file, which means you you could have, which means you could have one person put one barrel in there, and another person place another barrel in there, and place them into two separate plugin files. And you could have merged both of those plugin files into the same master file, and both of the changes would be there. Thus, you can you can have multiple people working on the same project. All, All right, right, that's, that's it. it. If, if you, you have, have any problems, problems you can leave a comment, comment below, and I'll see if I can help. And also, if, if you want me to go into even greater detail, where I can show you various tips and tricks to make using. Uh, version control easier and also various systems that that are useful for Skyrim modding teams then uh, 
then you, you can, can leave, leave a comment, comment below requesting it, and with enough, re with enough requests, I can make another tutorial. You can also request different tutorials if you want by leaving a comment as well. Other than that, I hope the tutorial was informative and helpful, and if you enjoyed the video and want to follow what me and my team are doing, then please subscribe.